And now we'll call up Dr. Hopiti, who will give us a word to the church at large. Hallelujah. As I sought the Lord for um, what he wanted to do for his church this month, he actually gave me four things. Uh, the first one is, uh, this is a month of preparation for the manifestation of promises. Secondly, this is a month to receive insight and wisdom regarding long-standing barriers. Third, this is a month of the release of supernatural provision. And third, that this is a season of signs, miracles, and testimonies. Amen? Amen. And my children know in this month that I'm getting you ready, that this is not a month to snooze, this is not a month to lay back, but this is a month to be ready with your feet uh, shod with your, your staff in your hand, with you sitting on go, ready to move into the new territory, the new lands, the new opportunities even that I'm bringing to you, even in the months to come. For this is a month that I'm reaching into those places, those places you have not wanted me to reach into, those areas of your life you have not wanted to address, but this is the month we have to address those areas to get you ready to reign with me, to get you ready to walk in prosperity with me, to get you ready to possess those things that I have ordained for you to possess even before the end of this year. So know this month that I'm getting you ready, ready in your finances, ready in your emotions, ready in your thought patterns, ready in your mindsets. I am invading every area and every aspect of your life as I get you ready that by the end of this month, you are to be sitting on go, you are to be in the start position, you are to be ready to run in and to possess those things that I promised you, those things that you've been waiting for, those things that the enemy has tried to convince you will not happen. Know that my word still stands, that I'm not a man that I should lie and nor do I have to repent for those promises that I've made, but this is the month to stand on my word, to believe me in faith that I will do everything that I promised that I would do, and that you are to move in faith and get ready for me to actually do it. Some of you have been saying, Lord, will you open the door, then I'll get ready. Lord, will you give me the opportunity, then I'll move in. No, my children, you must get ready now, and as you move in faith and in expectation, and in anticipation and cast off worry, fear, doubt, and unbelief, you will possess those things that I have ordained for you as you align yourself with my timing and my plans. Amen? Amen. For this is the season I'm elevating your vision that in the past where you have looked in the valley, you will now look from the mountaintop. You will be able to see beyond the barriers that the enemy has tried to place around you to limit your vision, to limit your perception, to limit your insight to what it is that I'm doing. The enemy has tried to convince many of you that my hand is not moving, that I am not at work for you in this season. But no, even though the surface of the water seems still, that your God is moving mightily beneath the surface. I have been ordering your steps, orchestrating relationships. I'm setting up things to network you with those people that I want you connected to. In the past, you tried to do it through your own strength. You tried to hook, crook, and finagle. This is the season where it will be done through my way, through my vision, and I'm going to give you the perception to know those whom you are to be connected to and to know those whom you need to disconnect from. For you will not have a, a hood over your eyes. You will not be covered by a smoke screen. But as you seek my face in prayer, I'm going to give you insight and revelation that before the enemy can concoct his plan, you already know about it and you'll know the path to overcome it. Hallelujah. This is a month of release of supernatural provision. For there is no lack in me. Know, my children, that 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 is needed for my kingdom will be provided. As you step out in faith, what is needed will be there. Many of you have been waiting for a lump sum, a storehouse, before you move. As you step out in faith, that that is needed will be there. Amen? As you move in time and in step with me, as you get to the meeting, you'll know what you need to say. As you walk through the door, you'll know how to handle the business deal. As you move forward in me, supernatural provision, not only financial provision, resource provision, connection revision, all of my provision.
decisions will be at your hand as you move out in faith and walk with me. Don't look at the past, but look forward to what it is that I'm doing now. Many of you have been grieving over and laboring over what happened last year. 2016 is closed. 2017 is the year of your opportunity. Move forward. Set your vision forward. Cast your eyes forward and walk in time with what it is that I'm doing now. For I am raising up a mighty army that will demonstrate my power, that will demonstrate my miraculous power, that will call fire down from heaven, that will believe me, eo shane, to regrow limbs, that will believe me, eo to high, to open blinded eyes, that will believe me that they will lay hands on the sick and expect the miraculous and expect them to cover. I am charging you, my people, to stop waiting for somebody else to be the miracle worker. For if my spirit is dwelling within you, I've called you to be one who demonstrates me in this hour. You don't have to do it the way somebody else did it. You don't need a title to do it. You don't need a microphone nor a pulpit for I'm calling my people to demonstrate me out there demonstrate me in the streets demonstrate me on your job demonstrate me in the marketplace demonstrate me in the supermarket demonstrate my power for I will honor my word Amen. amen can we make some declarations hallelujah anybody believe God hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. I decree, I decree. And, I and I declare that I am in preparation mode. I preparation mode. Father, I give you, Father, I give you permission, permission to do whatever, to do whatever needs, to be done in me, needs to be done in me that I can walk into, can walk into the, manifestation the manifestation of your exceeding great, your exceeding great and, precious promises. and precious promises. Father, I give you you permission permission to use me to to work signs, to work work miracles, to work work wonders, to be an instrument in your mighty hand that men and women will know that you are Lord and you are God. Father, I believe you. I take you at your word. I stand on it and I put a demand on your Holy Spirit to manifest every promise that you have made unto me as I align with your timing, your will, and your way this month in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, you can do better than that. Give him some praise. 